Jared Nagus, you've been killing it all year, man. American American records, all galore. And every race you went into this weekend, you just kind of dominated it. But before we get into that, I gotta ask you about this guy, or this guy right here. What what type of animal is this? And where did you get this? <laughs> but um, someone in the crowd on my victory lap just kind of handed it to me. He's like, "Do you want him?" I was like. Yes, obviously. I love stuffed animals, and also he's like a little puppet, so, you know, it's great. <laughs> and uh, I just got done talking to Cole, too, and I think back to that Olympic trials when y'all both made the team, both college athletes, and I know that had to meant a, lot, meant a lot, like, coming out of college, but what does this one mean as, like, an officially, like, you're a pro and you're with your team and on top of, like, getting that American record? Yeah, I mean... You know, it's just been such an amazing year so far, just being a pro runner. Um, and to come into this with expectations of making Budapest, but also still knowing you have to do well at USA's. Um, you know, I was really just excited to kind of come out in the ex expectation of, you know, winning. And I feel like it, that's why it means so much to me, because I still have never won a US title, despite everything I've done this year. Yeah. And, you know, that's why this one is really important, because America always has some of the best 1500 runners, and I feel like to come out and just give my best against them is always super exciting, so it was great. We don't have that many medals in the 15. You know, we got <laughs> we got recent, most recent, I'm not gonna go back to back in the day because I can't know off the top of my head, but we got Leo Manzano, <laughs> Centro, and then, oh, you don't have a medal yet, but you ran 329, you fished, you got your first title. Like, how, how much confidence does that, that give you going into Worlds? To, to medal, like is that like expectation to feel like I'm, I should be a medalist? Yeah, I mean, I think that's definitely been the goal with just how my season has been going. I feel like I've been putting myself in great positions in races and just running really fast. And, um, you know, I feel like that's all gonna pay off and adding to my confidence a little bit. And then eventually, I think I'm gonna get to Worlds and just be really ready to take on some of the world's best because you know, I feel like now that I'm really focusing on running and just kind of going all in on it, I'm going to be the best that I have been and only going to keep getting better because I'm still kind of young. Not as young as them, kind of young. <laughs> and like really, I mean, all the best 1500 guys are so young right now, yeah, just in, in, <laughs> in general. I would say for you, like just being in those races where everyone's just running 329 and when, even when you see like Jacob right ahead of you running 327, I want to ask you, does like the world record, like, does that ever creep into your mind? Like, oh, maybe that's something that's attainable. I don't even know, like, maybe like even like this year, because I don't know. I don't know. Everyone's just running so insane right now in the 15. I mean, I was going to say it, it, it would be hard this year because like I only got like one race that's a mile and yeah. then like a uh, world. <laughs> but I mean, if Jakob goes for the world record at Worlds, all the power to him, then, you know, I'm going to be right off of it, I'm sure. So. I feel like it's, I, th I think it'll happen sooner than people think. You know, I think we're, we're uh, people are getting faster and like kind of really hitting their stride. And I feel like I've only really started running pro, so I still have like a lot of room to grow. Um, it's true, running 329 right now is still a little unexpected and a little exciting, but uh, I, think, I think it'll come with time, you know, so. And you said you have a, a mile at some point, and is that in between now and Worlds? Where's that gonna be at? Uh, the London Diamond League, okay, uh, okay. Light. 23rd or something like that. Is that one? I, I know I'm just asking you about records, but are you thinking about the American? Is that you think I the mean, American record is that creeping in your mind? It's just that, a topic right now. I don't know. I'm sorry. That one was kind of creeping in my mind because I was like, if I got that one, I would have gotten every American record in the mile and 15, indoor and outdoors. That'd be crazy. Which would be cool. So um, maybe. I think all the diamond leagues are kind of fast. So as long as I'm kind of fast and in contention with it, could happen, but it's still really fast, so we'll see. Well, good luck at London. Good, before you, before you go. Bro, did you have Loki like the greatest American distance season ever? Like, you, <laughs> you just said that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got indoor 3K, indoor miles, uh, outdoor 1500, like, and now US Championship kind of solidifies it, like. Yeah, I you know, like, I guess, I wouldn't say records really solidify you as the best season. Well, I said season. the championship, the, cha the win, the US Championship. Like, yeah, like, yeah. But yeah, I think. The best seasons ever. Thank you. No, I'm, I'm sure it's it's up there, maybe. I don't, I don't know too much about history, so I'm not. <laughs> but I feel like I'm really, really happy with how my season's been going, and that's all that matters, so. Well, Yard, he's still super hungry. He wants that medal. He wants that medal before anybody says anything. <laughs> so, looking forward to seeing you do it. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. All right, thanks, man.